on day one, when you take office, what's Pip and Do going to do day one? When I'm feeling down, I can't win for a strong cup of coffee. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another exciting episode of Job with James. My name is Jim Meyer, broker associate at Remax Gold. Now you have a friend in the real estate business. I'm here with my friend Pippin Du, who's a council member and a Remax Gold realtor. You got so much going on, and if you guys didn't watch yesterday's episode of about Pippin Du, uh, where the question was who is Pippin Du, then you need to go back and watch it. And now I am going to ask. This very, very important question, Pippin. Why on earth do you want to be mayor of the city of Vallejo? Yes. Well, you know, it's like having been in that in that position as a council member for so long um, and dealing with so many things like, you know, just coming out of bankruptcy and then um, dealing with COVID and all of the uh, repercussions of that, like, there were so many challenges, but I learned over those um, over those years that you have to be very focused on key priorities and don't let the outside you know noise um, move you from those priorities. And you have to stay very disciplined with your spending and your budgeting to make sure that you are still focused on those priorities that way. Um, and, you know, I kept thinking um, as COVID was moving in the rearview mirror that that we were going to do that, we would get refocused and start prioritizing again. And that just didn't happen. And so I realized in 2021 that, you know, somebody needed to step up to the plate that had that experience and that understanding and also could see not just how to get on track, but how to really elevate our community and lift us to the next level and realize that potential that so many people are always talking about. Wow. And uh, so on day one, when you take office, what's Pip and Do going to do day one? Yeah. So day one, we are going to move forward with, um, uh, you know, a strong strategy to improve our public safety. So, you know, currently we have um, about 400 calls for service per day, and that has actually doubled since, um, you know, last year, or the end of the year before that. And, uh, you know, on any given shift, about three or four officers. So um, there is a proposal from the sheriff that would uh, significantly increase our staffing immediately. And also, you know, what's all, you know, so that'll allow us to respond to calls for service in an appropriate manner. Like right now, they're only responding to priority one and even then not at the best, you know, rate of response. Um, but also besides the response times, we have to do a significant amount of work um, uh, in, the, in the realm of, of police reform and community policing. And that work requires an additional 85 hours per year of every officer above and beyond the 45 hours they need to do already. And we currently have them working like 16 hour shifts. So I don't know how we expect them to be able to carve out time to do additional training so that we have the, you know, and and, and also be in those working conditions. And, and so how do we expect them to have good results at the end of that when we're not giving them the time to do the training and we're not giving them the time to rest and reset that they need to be able to do their jobs properly. And, you know, as we're increasing our staffing and, and, and enhancing their training abilities, also really making sure there are opportunities for them to get engaged and involved with the community and build those relationships and rebuild that trust. That's really important. That's, that's amazing. So uh, I think we're going to have to come back tomorrow and talk about this a little bit more. Am I right? Yes, I would love that. Okay, we'll see you guys tomorrow for another exciting episode of Java with the Gyms.